everyone, welcome back to the Encore right here on the Las Vegas Strip. It's the temporary home for the Win Las Vegas Sportsbook while they finish renovations across the way. Those will be done in August in time for football. I'm Patrick Everson for Covers.com. Pleased to be joined once again by Johnny Avello, the Executive Director of Race and Sports here at the Win. Johnny, let's talk a little early week baseball this week. Let's start off Indians-Orioles. They got a four-game series this week. Cleveland finally has moved into first place. They're looking a little bit more like the American League champions, the reigning American League champs. They're meeting a reeling Baltimore squad in Baltimore. Is this an ideal situation for, for people to start betting the Indians, or where are we at on that? Well, it was an ideal situation if you bet them five games ago because they won the last five. Right. When it's all said and done, Cleveland's going to win this division, you know, and they're because they have the pitching overall. Now, Baltimore's playing a little bit better, won two straight, but only three and seven in the last ten. Baltimore's strength, though, is at home. Right. At home record of 23 and 11. Very, very strong for a team that's under 500. So, uh, be a little careful here, but the price probably for the series is around Kluber's price for game one, $1.70. And you said that you were talking off camera. That'd probably be reflected in the few, in the other three games as well. Yeah, I believe so. All right, very good. Let's move on. Diamondbacks, Rockies, they got a three-game series starting Tuesday. These two teams, big surprise, both playing over 600 ball. Arizona, hottest team in baseball at the moment. They got Grinke on the mound for the opener tomorrow night in, in Denver. Are betters going to ride the surprising Diamondbacks here and the great arm? or the equally surprising Rockies. Yeah, not so fast, Patrick, hottest team in baseball. You're right, seven straight wins, five straight wins for the Rockies. Mm -hmm. Now, Arizona's strength is really at 26 and nine at home. It's mm -hmm. an amazing record to start the season. But remember that Colorado is equally as well, not only at home, but on the road. 21-13 at home, 25 and 13 on the road. Mm -hmm. So this is a good overall baseball team. I'm really surprised that the Colorado pitching this year has, has well, as well as it, it has been because I didn't expect them to have that type of pitch. And I thought mm -hmm. their offense would keep them up for the season and then all of a sudden they would fade. But right. who knows? Looks like they're going to be around a while. All righty. Greg, can you probably go off in the favorite, as the favorite in that game, though? Oh, definitely, yes. All righty. Very good. Finally, let's move on. Blue Jays, Rangers, four game series. Not much to talk about the Blue Jays here, but the Rangers, you know, while Houston is kind of running away with the AL West, they've had a little bit of a bump. The Rangers playing pretty well lately. They've got themselves back around, maybe a little over 500. When they're playing that well, they had a run of eight and two over 10 games, seven and one over eight. How long does it take for betters to jump on a streak like that with a team that hasn't really been that good prior to that? Tough matchup here with these two. Uh, they both started the season very poorly and they're both playing much better now. And the problem with them is they're both going to be behind the leader of the right. division. So the uh, Jays are going to be the favorite right. and going to be the favorite overall for the series, right around that dollar thirty price. All right, very good. So there you have it. A look at some early week baseball this week. Thanks again to Johnny Avello for his insights. As always, for covers.com from the Encore on the Strip, I'm Patrick Everson. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a follow on Twitter at Covers.